The following instructional will provide guidelines on how to perform and proctor a submaximal graded exercise test. The purpose of this test is to predict VO2 max using predicted heart rate max and predicted work rate. The test utilizes the YMCA protocol which will consist of at least three stages and varying workloads depending on the first steady state heart rate. Before beginning the test, a termination point of 85% of predicted maximum heart rate must be determined. This is calculated by subtracting 220 minus the age of the subject then multiplying the result by 0.85. Next, adjust the cycle ergometer seat to comfortably fit the subject. Then, apply the sphygmomino meter to the subject's arm. Ensure that the arrow on the cuff points are on the side of the arm that the brachial artery is located. Obtain a resting blood pressure and heart rate. To obtain blood pressure, ensure that the stethoscope rests just under the arrow on the cuff. Close the valve by turning the knob all the way to the right. Then, pump the cuff until approximately 210 millimeters of mercury. Release the pressure slowly by gently turning the knob to the left and listening for the first thud. Take note of where the first thud is heard and continue to release the pressure until the last thud is heard. The first thud is the systolic blood pressure and the last is the diastolic blood pressure. Then, using the radial artery, count the number of pulses for 10 seconds, then multiply this number by 6. Once the test begins, heart rate will be taken every minute and blood pressure will be taken every 3 minutes. Be sure to give enough time to obtain these values before the third minute is complete. Each workload will be 3 minutes in length starting at the first workload of 150 kg meters with a resistance of 0.5 kg. Once steady state heart rate has been obtained for the first workload, the second workload can then be identified. For example, if a subject reached a steady state heart rate of 80 beats per minute during the first workload, the second workload will be under the less than 86 beats per minute row. To move on to each stage, a steady state heart rate of less than 5 beats per minute must be obtained between minutes 2 and 3 of each workload. Meaning that if the heart rate of the second and third minutes are greater than 5 beats per minute, the subject has not attained steady state. If steady state heart rate is not obtained, extend the stage one more minute or until steady state has been reached. Continue to move on to the next stages until the subject has reached 85% of the predicted heart rate max. Once 85% of predicted heart rate max has been reached, reduce the resistance to 0.5 kg and initiate a 5 minute cooldown period, the subject maintaining a 60 RPM pace. Record heart rate for each minute and blood pressure during the final minute of the cooldown period. 